Software 9 has several Docker dialog boxes that house additional icons for creating. Some of them have more generalized functions and some are used for activating specific effects and techniques. When the software is first installed, one Docker appears as a tab on the right-hand side of the screen. The color film docker is used extensively in the software when you are creating and editing designs. There are five icons in the general toolbar that open docker tabs. These are the last icons in the general toolbar. These are overview window, color film, carving stamp, morphing, and cut work. In this series of videos, you will learn first how to open and close a Docker, then we will look specifically at three general Dockers, Overview Window, Color Film, and My Threads, which is opened by the thread icon in the lower right corner of your software screen. In later videos, you will learn about carving stamp, cutwork, and morphing. When opened, Dockers appear as dialog boxes on the right-hand side of the screen. They have various functions in the software, and when not in use, they appear as tabs. You can pin a Docker to keep it open. Let's first pin Color Film. Click on the tab, and then click on Auto Hide. This push pin icon will change to a vertical position and when it's in the vertical position, the docker remains open. If you click it and place it in a horizontal position, the docker will retreat as a tab. If you rest your cursor on the tab, the docker will open temporarily. But if you want it to remain open, click so that it is in the vertical position. If you wish to open another docker, click on the corresponding icon in the general toolbar. Move the auto hide position to a horizontal position and the docker will retreat as a tab. It is okay to open all the other dockers and then click on auto hide to place all the other dockers as a tab. Dockers may be resized as well and you can click and drag on the side of a docker to either contract it or expand it. Dockers can also be moved. Auto Hide has to be activated to do this. Just click and drag on the title bar and move the docker where you wish to place it. If you want it to return to the right hand side, double click on the title bar and it will return. You can also resize dockers horizontally, vertically, or in both directions. Double click again to move the docker back in its place. If you want to close a docker, click in the upper right X of the docker title and the docker will disappear as a tab. To reopen it, click on the corresponding icon and it will reopen.